Yo, what's up? In this one, we are going to import the Game Motion Sample Project character and the Mover character into our third person project. So you can use it inside of your actual project as well. It's going to be super easy to follow. I've laid out all the steps ready for you and we'll go through it step by step. So here's the Mover character with his sliding as well. This project file with everything in it is available for YouTube Gold members and Patreon members. So if you want access to it, then sign up for that so without further ado let's get into the video so firstly you're going to go to your third person project where you want the game animation sample stuff to be in we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to plugins we're going to enable like five or six plugins so we want motion trajectory enable that and then we want post search enable that and then we want motion warping this beta one here and animation warping as well. Nice and easy. Then we want chooser. And then we want animation loco library, locomotion library. And then we want deformograph. Now this should be on by default, but I'll just check it anyway. Deformograph on by default. Then we want mover so that we can move it. And then finally, we want live link control rig, this bad boy. Select yes, and then it'll ask you to restart. But just before that, we're not going to do anything. We're going to go to edit, go to our project settings, and go to our engine. And we want these data driven CVARs. Now, currently, there's none in here. So we're going to go to our game animation sample project. We're gonna open up the game animation sample project, go to the file, sorry, go to edit, go to project settings and uh, find engine data driven CVARs. You'll see there are 25 here. So we're gonna right click to copy them. Make sure you right click to copy this top bit, select copy, go back to our third person project. You'll see there are no CVARs in here. Right click and paste. And now there are 25 CVARs in here. Okay, now we've done that, we can save it close down the third person project open back up the game animation sample project then we're going to click on this little folder right click on the default level and show in explorer from there we're going to go back one to click content and we're looking for the config file. So go back another one to the project name and we want this config file. Right click default tags, select copy. And then we need to find our actual project that we are looking for. So open up your Unreal projects, find your third person project that you want, go to the config folder, right click and paste in the default gameplay tags folder that we've stolen. Okay. Back in gameplay sample project. This one, we're going to go to the content drawer, go to blueprints, right click the CMC, asset actions, migrate. And then we're just going to click OK and go back to our projects. Select content, select, select folder and watch the migration happen. This will take two or three minutes to run through. All right, so now our migration is complete, we can go and open up our project file. So we'll find the project that we want it to go to. Open that up. And then we can go to our content drawer. And we can go to our world settings and select our GM sandbox. And then it'll tell us that we've got some missing project settings so we can just enable those. And then we're a press play. There'll be a bunch of errors here. So we're going to open them all up. Most of these errors will be about the draw debug stuff. So they're not, they're not a problem. So we'll come to the sandbox mover one first. This is pretty simple. This is just a debug problem here. So we can get rid of the draw debugs. And that fixes the entire thing. Now, if we go back to level third person in play, We'll get to the sandbox CMC. This is the same, but also one extra. 
So we'll find the settings. And disconnect that one. And then in the anim graph here, just need to connect this up and that'll fix that. So then when we play again, we get the BP Kellen. And this is about live link body retargeting. So we just need to connect that one there. And we can delete this cast node. Because we're not going to use Kellen. And then back in here, we've got the face anim BP. And again, all of these get deleted. We can just delete that one as well. Sandbox character mover. Problem in here is the debug strings. So again, we're just going to come to debug draws and disconnect it. And then don't disconnect this one for the targeted actor. Just disconnect the end line here. And then finally, we've got BP helpful functions. And again, this is all just debug stuff. So you can delete them or disconnect them or whatever you want to do. But for the most part, you don't use them. So there we go. So we just click for all of these debug draw arrows and we can disconnect them. We've not deleted them because they'll be used elsewhere and I don't want to break more blueprints. Press play. And now here is our sandbox character running around. All perfectly fine. But he can't traverse anything because traversal is locked to the level block. And here we have level block traversable that we can pull out and jump across. Just like that. And then if we go to the world settings, we can change this to be a GM. In our set to gameplay mode, we've got sandbox mover as well. And that works also. You also see that our slide works here as well. So it's all good to go. If you want the ability to traverse sort of these objects and jump up here and stuff, we do have a climb everywhere tutorial that I'll leave a link to that you can use as well. So that'll help you climb everywhere and that'll be included in the project files too. And that's it. That's how we get the gasp and the mover character into your third person blueprint. Check out the other videos for more on how to change up the gasp and third person character and the mover character and what you can do and what you can do with them. Thanks for watching. Have a great new year. Bye.